Hi, I'm Pastor Larry Barnett, and I just want to talk to you for a moment or two about failure. All of us, no matter who we are, no matter how great we've been in our lives, we all experience our moments of failure, or should I say, those things that appear to be a failure. In the Gospel according to Luke chapter 5, there's an interesting story about Jesus and Simon Peter. Jesus is at the lake of Gennesaret. He finishes preaching and he asks Simon to launch out into the deep. And this is where the story gets pretty interesting. And you have to remember that Peter is an experienced fisherman. He understands the difference between success and failure. And yet Jesus tells him, Jesus who by the way is the son of a carpenter and not necessarily a fisherman, he says, Peter, launch out into the deep, let down your net and take in the drought. And Peter uh, somewhat humors Jesus. And sometimes people will humor us when they don't, don't really want to tell us that we don't know what we're talking about. Nonetheless, because of who Jesus is, he decided that he would go forward and do as the Lord had commanded. Well, Jesus, as he's going out with Peter, hears these words from Peter. He says, Lord, we have toiled all the night and we have taken nothing. Sometimes, despite our best effort, it would appear that our best is still not good enough. And some would say and conjecture that perhaps that Peter was right and that uh, the disciples had wasted their time fishing the night before. They come up empty and no doubt some would say that was a failure. But I want you to consider that a failure is not always a failure. Jesus tells him to let down the net. And as he lets down the net, the word of God de declares that he takes in a huge drought, so much so until his nets began to break. Peter now asks for his compadres to come and help. He says, look, I've got to have some help. My, my abundance is running over. And so now they come in and the ships both begin to sink. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you've lost, a failure is not always a failure. As a matter of fact, the Word of God says in the book of Romans, all things work together for good to those that love God. As long as we love God and we're walking in the will of God, no matter what we've experienced, we are yet determined and we're yet destined to be a success. We have to remember that as a child of God, He has put His Spirit in us. And the spiritual DNA of every child of God would declare that we are not losers but winners. Jesus said through the Apostle Paul that we are more than a conqueror. A failure is not always a failure. You may be struggling financially, maybe you're having family problems, perhaps your family is described best as being dysfunctional, but I do want to encourage you to hang in there. The Lord revealed to me some time ago that a failure is not a failure in my life until I declare that it is a failure. So despite all of your doubters, your naysayers, your critics, those who don't believe that you'll ever amount to anything, I want you to take courage and just declare to the world the best in your life is yet to come. As a matter of fact, David says it best in Psalms 23, verse 5, that God will even prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. We have to make careful or be very careful that we don't allow the adversary to whisper negative things into our lives. A failure is not always a failure. When God is in the picture, no matter what we put our hands to do, God will ensure that we're going to come out successful. We are going to be a victor because Christ is the one who gives us the strength. And Paul says we can do all things. So I want to encourage you, the believer, to know that on this day, your failure, God is about to make that become your greatest testimony. It is in our trials and tribulations that we discover our greatest testimony. So don't just be dismayed, don't be discouraged. Declare to your circumstance and your situation, my failure is not a failure. God bless you and God keep you.